ever get a chance Walmart carries these uh, clear American obviously I'm not sponsored by them but they're a great alternative to uh, Mountain Dew addiction so um, let's see so all this stuff I've got here I just wanted to go over it before you guys see it at the uh, at the um, uh, fence box or whatever you want to call it um, these are all tools I bought I got some of my work tools out there and then I thought why am I staging it with those these are pretty cheap so I went and got these so um, I actually was fairly disappointed with this Milwaukee fast but back utility knife you can supposedly flip it open and I'm sure I'm not good at it but so far I'm just not terribly impressed with the build quality I don't like this little tinny clip. I like the shape of the clip this direction, but because it's narrow right here, it's extremely flexible. And I've had it hook on my pants and want to pretty much bend sideways, so I'm not real keen on it. Um, I also don't like, it's just not a very good shape. It's real wide. You can store an extra blade there, or big whoop de doo um, It just, it needed more, like if I tilt it, if you guys can see it in the camera, it's very square it needed more curvature this direction like a knife would have and I just don't it doesn't fit in my hands real well I wish that to, um, I don't know I'm just not sure it just doesn't fit you know they want you to hold it like this and there's tons of leverage out there that's not a real natural position I think I would have got rid of this cutter here and move the whole blade in so I could hold it like you know like this or something but anyways not real impressed not one of Milwaukee's best uh, tools blade release seems to be okay um, anyways not wonderful but it'll work for being out there in the in the box and then it's got some kind of wire stripper or something on the back so that's okay that's not this I got this because I needed a utility knife out there I thought, well, I'll buy a Milwaukee, and now I wish I would have done a little more research. But so for those of you guys, I wouldn't if I was buying these again, I would buy something else. But anyways, that's that. Um, so the deal is, is I needed a pair of linemen's out at the box that I can strip wire with that aren't just you know they're not just normal linemen's, and I also so when um, when you're designing tools or anything that's ergonomic or human y usage, you talk about percentile. So um, I, I think my hand is just under 90th percentile. It's a little small. So I have a bigger set of pliers from Lowe's, and they're eight and a half inch pliers, and they just don't fit my hand. They're, they're, when it's closed, they're a little big for my hand. And so I'm hoping these fit. My hands are a little smaller. Um, and I like I, I like these. I like that they shut narrow. That's it fits, you know, the grip range where I've got a lot of strength in my hand. So the reason I bought these is, I had bought a pair of Stanleys from Walmart, and they had wire strippers on them, and I actually used them a lot. I was surprised at how often I use wire strippers. So I think the Stanleys at Walmart are like. 12 something in that range and I didn't I was trying to get it like a whole set for 12 so I think these came in around 14 I'm not sure I'll I'll queue right now to the actual price on Amazon and so um, what they've got is they've actually got um, some plate steel in here that's machined so I'll just show you guys they've got this um, these are bolted in and they're just pl pieces of plate steel that have been machine ground and then they've got a wire crimper right here 
Um, they don't have the other style that squashes. Um, the jaws, let's see how well do the jaws meet. So the cutter part of the jaws meet really well. Um, the part that grips has at the top about a 30 second space. So I'm not real thrilled with that. I wish they would have closed tight. But for the overall price, for getting all three of these in a kit for, I think, or like I said, around the $14, $15 mark, I hope I'm right on that, um, was to me a good deal. And so then these are um, um, side cutters or dikes. And how do they meet? They actually meet really well with no gapping. So um, the strippers, um, they're close. They're, they may need a little adjustment. Looks like one side needs to go in a little bit. How are these? These meet exactly. Um, these, one side's just a touch low, so I'll probably have to add like a brass shim or a piece of paper or something. And I think that would fix the closing problem on those. So uh, jaws close nice and tight. These need just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of work. And then they came with needle nose pliers. Probably won't use these a lot out on the fence, but you know, who knows. Um, these meet exactly on the, on the strippers, except the top. I'll have to adjust the top. It's a little tiny bit off. And then these, um, how do they close? These close really well. When I say close, these cutter jaws have to slightly pass by each other and overlap. Well, really shitty ground, or cruddy ground ones, um, sometimes they'll gap. So they'll have gap when they go by each other or they'll close like this. They won't close um, parallel to each other and then um, let's see let me wipe that off there and see if that makes a difference uh, the nose has about a 64th gap and the teeth are all lined up correctly so I think these are pretty good quality I think for the price um, you're getting a pretty good deal for I think where my mind goes to is if I left these out overnight and they got surface rust on them, I wouldn't be terribly upset. If I left a pair of Kleins, you know, $40 Kleins out there, I'd be unhappy. So the idea is if something happens to these, it's not the end of the world. That's why I buy these cheaper tools for things like the electric fence, you know, because you, th you end up thrashing them. So I think these are a good set. Um, like I said, I'll put the, you guys probably already saw the link on how much they were. And then these are good old Harbor Freight. And they're lifetime warranty. I know they're crap. I mean, when I say they're crap, they're, they're loose on the adjusters. Come on out of there. But you get four of them for nine bucks or something. How can you complain about that? So, um, yeah, they're super loose. They're they're just they're Harbor Freight quality. They're terrible. Um, but you know what? For working out there again, if I left these, yeah, you can see how much plays in there. That's just terrible. I could probably pound that out and shim it, but I don't care enough. Huh? I may have to try to shim that. Anyways, um, they're all real sloppy. All of them are just sloppies all get out. But, so the... <laughs> is that missing a tooth? No. Um, the issue with these is $9, man. If I leave one of these out and it rusts and doesn't work anymore, I don't care. So these are all going to go out to the box. They're all going to be... Um, working tools that get treated poorly you know they're not something that i take that i'm going to take real good care of because that's just the nature of doing fence work you kind of thrash tools so um. so like i was saying guys apparently my camera cut out the last minute there 
all these tools are going to be working tools. They're all going to get thrashed. They're all going to be abused more than average. Um, and so I bought cheap tools because if they break, I don't want to be upset about it. So um, I think that's the end of it. Uh, see you guys on the next one.